here to apologize. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is the apology video. We haven't apologized. Anyway, we haven't used this channel in two years. Yeah. We've fallen off the face of the earth, haven't we? We have. And then we realized, um, there's 10,000 subscribers on this channel. When we were reminiscing while also looking at new stuff to make. Yes, I would say both of us agree that we're really proud of most of the videos we put out, I think. Definitely, most of them is yeah. a key word. I spent a lot of time editing those videos and I think, you know, we definitely had some very experimental content, but I think a lot of it was really, really good. And we, you know, even though we dropped off the face of the earth, that doesn't mean that we haven't necessarily been working on creative projects. Yeah, I think we should start with explaining like where the channel comes from, yeah. how we started. So me and Grayson have known each other since high school. But we probably really didn't become friends until our senior year of high school. Mm -hmm. We became friends and we COVID were COVID times. COVID times especially, yes. yes. <laughs> Definitely COVID times. Not many people were doing much in COVID times Grayson was one of the few people that I knew that was willing to go out and do stuff with me. So we hung out probably at least like one to two times a week. If not more, if because not more. if I were to be realistic, COVID times were actually one of the more enjoyable points in my life. I, yeah. We were that summer, 2020, we were out filming or doing a creative project or planning something, editing videos, all this stuff, like every day that summer and that's where you know all those videos came from um we kind of yeah we knew each other in high school and we had always said we should start a youtube channel mm -hmm. we'd always said that and kind of covid came around and we were like you know what let's actually do it so that summer we made it and we yep. worked crazy hard on crazy it. crazy hard because you know both of our passions have always been that we want to we would like to be successful in, you know, this endeavor to create creative content and explore our passions and explore the world um, through the lens of YouTube or something like that, where we can just be allowed to do whatever we want. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. Your dogs really love me. Yeah. That's fine, though. <laughs> <laughs> this will be cut, I think. No, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. You leave it in. It's okay, stuck, okay. Right? It's stuck. But anyway, so we did that and we kind of like just didn't have the time that we did to make videos to the same level that we wanted to. Yeah, we, once we started going to community college, <laughs> which is what happened yeah. after COVID, um, even then, the first bit when it was all online. Uh, we after COVID, we were still able to do a good amount of uh, activities and, and videos, but eventually in person started coming back and, you know, we just felt that we didn't have the time and we didn't think that, you know, we would have, you know, great success, even though it was a yeah. passion for us to have great success. It was a passion. And I would say we did this kind of in a way thinking like we didn't really care if we had tons of success. We just kind of wanted to make cool stuff. We obviously want to like make it in this field. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like our end goal. But, you know, you start going to college. I at the time was working 20 to 30 hours a week. And so, I mean, that was 60 hours of my week used up between work and school. And so we just, yeah, we didn't have the time. So we stopped making videos. We stayed in touch though. We were still friends through the whole time. Better friends at times, mm -hmm. but I would say we're probably getting back to where we were in Definitely. 2020 just in terms of friendship. Because, and that's because we both, um, we kind of came back to each other because we started getting that creative fever back again. We wanted to produce content yeah. again. And as for myself in January, about about January this year, I started another YouTube channel with another mm -hmm. high school friend called Arbiter Seeking. And, you know, I'll probably show a small compilation of our projects here. Of our projects here, but 
Um, that has been a pleasure to work on. It's not as editing heavy as this channel is, but it's a it's a podcast. It's a it's a podcast, yeah. mainly. And Eli's been helping with that some, increasingly so. And uh, you know, going forward, we're going to be producing a couple projects uh, together as well that aren't related to the podcast. So, yeah. During that time, I was also. I continue to work on creative things. So I'm I'm still in college, we both are, but I'm a journalism major. So a lot of my time and efforts creatively were spent on homework assignments. Like I'll link some of my better articles I've wrote. I will we'll be showing some of the pictures I've taken. Haven't done as many video projects, which is a shame because that's, that's really what my, my passion is, is in the video field mainly. I really enjoy sitting down, presenting, I also really enjoy storyboarding and cinematography type stuff. Not as much a fan of the editing. That's why me and Grayson work great together. I really do like editing it at points, so yeah. Yeah, and through the process of us realizing we both have the same passion, we also realized we do work really well together. Because mm -hmm. we're two, we have a lot of the same interests, but we're two very different personalities. Mm -hmm. I'm a very outgoing, outspoken person that I was coming up with wild ideas all the time as I'm sure you guys can see you I'm sure you can tell the difference between my ideas and Grayson's ideas yeah I'm more contemplative and though I have those wild ideas and I want them to come to fruition I like to also be very realistic in our ability to accomplish those things yes and so that makes us work well together yeah because we both want to make these Anyway, yeah, that we worked well together then, and I think we work even better together now because we both matured a lot, and I think we've kind of come to the natural conclusion of kind of what we want to do creatively. Mm -hmm. We've kind of realized we don't have an interest in just making like fun edited videos and compilations. Those are fun to make, but they don't really have any meaning or purpose to them. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of cool and fun to make. And so that kind of takes took us to the next logical step, which is making documentary, art house style documentaries, normal documentaries. And that kind of takes us to what a lot of our future projects are going to be. We're going to be taking a, a logical step in the next direction. Mm -hmm. Deeply contemplative with a lot of useful information, uh, a lot of philosophy to life, and a very artistic way, artistic and interesting way to present that to an audience. Um, and just having more patience with the process of planning a video too. Yeah. You know, not just run and gun and uh, hope it works together in the edit, but you know, the better quality of video you have to work with, the better that it's gonna turn out, you know? Exactly. And we both, yeah, and that comes from the maturation of us mm -hmm. as people and creatives. We, yeah, when we first started, I didn't really care about how easy it was to edit. I was like, let's just go do this. Yeah, and then I would sit in the sit in the dungeon and just stitch this mess together in a in a cool way, which I think turned out pretty good. But, it, it worked out really well because yeah. I think we did have some actual talent in terms of the run and gun style. We had enough mm -hmm. talent to where, and we put a lot of time in. Like when we were doing those videos, I didn't like when we were running and gunning. I know it seemed like I didn't plan it out. But I would do tons of research on like cinematography mm -hmm. ideas, tons of stuff like that to try to improve our videos. And so, but we have learned now a lot more stuff. And so, yeah, we've got some really cool projects coming up that we think we're going to post on this channel. We don't know. We don't know because today... And the reason for this video is because today we were kind of reminiscing and looking at this channel as an example for our future content. And we saw that we have over 10,000 subscribers. And we don't know if it's real. We don't know if it's bots. But we would just really appreciate, you know, if you'd like this video just to verify that you're here. I'm not begging for likes for the algorithm or anything like that. Maybe comment on how you found us because we're just trying to maybe trace the origin of this the best way we can if you could just help us out in that way yeah we really just want to know what happened mm -hmm. how did all of these subscribers get here we're not really getting any help from youtube 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're making this video. And I actually think like 100% we are gonna post the big project we're working on currently mm -hmm. on this channel. I think it fits on this channel. It probably better than the podcasting one. I think when Maybe. the idea first happened, it would have fit better on the podcasting one. But where it's morphed into, I think it, it's a logical, it's a, like, it's a step up in the same, but it's still that same type of content in a way that we were making. It's kind of like the next step most people would think. Like if you look at our earlier stuff, you'd be like, if they were to move in a direction of maturity, of yeah. Maturity, <laughs> yeah. If they mature, this would kind of be probably what they're moving towards. Yeah. But we don't know how real it is. And so yes. if it is real, then for sure we're going to be making some more content for you guys on this channel. If it's not real, we're just going to have to, you know, discuss it. But well, the creativity doesn't stop here. Yeah, we're so. still going to be posting stuff. And I think we've both pretty much settled on, we want this to be our career. We want to build like a media, not, we want to build a media empire. Well, an empire that you know, focuses on quality and keeping the community, like I'm not going out to hire a bunch of editors no. or no, no, no. Um, employees or anything like that. I don't want to ever have at least in my mind now, I don't want to have employees because the quality and the creativity that comes from us is what matters and not, you know, how best we can fit into the algorithm and get as many views as possible. So what our goal is, is we want to push this form of filmmaking forward. Mm -hmm. We want to take things that we see as they're good ideas, things we enjoy, but we want to take those ideas and push them forward creatively and basically just up our game, make everything, make it better, more mm -hmm. creative, and just do it better than everybody else. Yeah. That's our goal. We want to... When I better speak, in our own way. We don't necessarily need to compare and no. be better than anybody, but what we're offering is just the best of ourselves, I suppose. Yeah. We want to make our own thing from our creative vision. And mm -hmm. we want to be able to do that as a career. And that's what I mean by media empire. Mm -hmm. we, have pushed the we have pushed the boundaries and pushed the type of content, filmmaking, journalistic things, journalistic content and filmmaking. We want to push those categories forward with what we do. We want to revolutionize the field. So if you want to see that happen, subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Or just at least like yes. if you are subscribed yeah. because, yes. yeah, again, we're just establishing if this is real or not. Let us know if, if this is real. If it's not real, um, we'll probably make some videos and then try to get YouTube to remove the bots. Yeah. We're going to try to do that. Who knows? I don't know how to go about this other than just posting a video and gauging interest. Yeah, that's, this is really the only solution we have. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. That's where we've been. That's what we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. So... Welcome back to the ABCI Assance. ABCI Assance. <laughs> if it'll still be named that in the next yes. year, we don't know. Yes. The name is up for interpretation. Mm -hmm. It's a heated debate right now. Okay, we're going to cut off now. <laughs>